Hello and welcome to a how-to video here with me Weber101 and today I'm going to teach you how to install the Minecraft Minions mod. Uh, this also applies to every other mod you might want to install as well. So just use this technique I'm going to show you and uh, it should work for everything else. Okay so first of all um, I think people kind of are quite interested in how to install the Minions because it's just a ridiculously cool mod. So um, so one thing I will say when installing a mod, it's very important, read what the forum wants you to do. So on the link uh, that's in the description of the mod video and also in this video, um, if you scroll down it says instructions, Re uh, requires to install mod loader and audio mod and mod loader MP. So there you go, you know what you've got to download, you know what you've got to install, you know, um, mod loader and audio mod are quite common things to install. So. So yeah, make a note of them, uh, download them, save them somewhere safe, and so you have to worry about downloading them constantly. It just you know takes up time. Um, also, uh, download the latest version, 1.1. If you're running 1.1, uh, if you're running if you're running an older version, just make sure you've keep up to date. It's very careful to make sure to realize, like for example, it says in the forum, 1.1. One. Okay, so if you're running like the new 1.2 when it comes out. You know, obviously you can't use this, so wait for that to be updated. So check regularly to make sure you're using the right mod with the right update. Okay, so first things first, uh, make sure you have a clean Minecraft jar. Basically open up your Minecraft game, options, force update, and then say done and then log in. And then that's going to download the packages and things like that to make sure you've got a fresh jar. Right, so... Okay, so that's done, that's great. Right, so actually, if you go onto the Mod Loader and Audio Mod uh, forum page, it actually tells you how to install it as well. It says for Macintosh here, go to the application utility and open terminal, so that's cool. So we're gonna do that. So, um, this way I think actually was a lot better than the other video I've done uh, for how to install mods, because I think this is a bit more cleaner, a bit more safer in my opinion. So, uh, the terminal is kind of a key thing here. Basically, you just want to uh, go on here, copy the text, Command C, and then click on the last line of text in the terminal, Command V, paste that in, and then press the Enter button. Now, if you go onto your Finder, uh, we'll open a new one. See, it's on your main home pe on your main home folder. Sorry, uh, it says Minecraft Temp, MC Temp. So that basically is uh, Minecraft. This is your jar. So it's right here. So this is, this is your this is your Minecraft in essence. So this is what you'll be putting things into. Okay, so uh, on your downloads, I want to find. Okay, there you are. Mod Loader 1.1. It's basically uh, just Command A, select them all. Command C. Same way if you just like right click and all that stuff, you know, copy 15 items, and then go onto your folder here. And right click anywhere, paste items. Um, you go want to replace them, but you might as well say apply to all, replace. So that is mod loader. That's so that's installed. So that's important. Okay, then if you come out, then we want to install audio mod. So audio mod is quite a finicky one because normally people just copy across all these three things, and uh, Paul's code here uh, will overwrite this Paul's code here. But the thing is, if you go into the one in your jar folder and click on sound, oh look, there's all these files here because this is the audio for the game. And if you go on the audio mod version, sound, you know, there's nothing here. So basically you're you're copying across an empty folder, so it won't work. So basically, uh you want to copy IBMX and RG class into Make sure you go back out of that <laughs> and go into your jar folder and then paste items. Replace. Right, then go into Paul's code, sound codex on here, and then Paul's code, sound codex. So you kind of, you kind of the, the folder kind of tells you where to go. And then we're going to just simply copy and paste that into there. Awesome. So that's lo mod loader and audio mod installed. So we go back out to the main folder. So back out here. Then it says in the mod forum that we have to install um, mod loader MP. So here, and then just command A, command C, and then back in this folder, paste items, apply to all, as always, replace. So that is now all here. Okay, so also one key thing as well is if you go onto the actual folder which you've downloaded for the mod, so Minecraft Minions here, double click, uh, client. It says, 
put content into dot minecraft folder so basically it doesn't say put content into jar which means we don't need to touch the jar anymore so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal that up and tuck it away so back onto the mod loader forum page so we copy this text here for the terminal control C back onto the last line of the terminal code control V copy and then enter and then now that has got rid of the temp and also it's deleted the meta imp folder as well uh, it says so here it says rm meta inf uh, moyang so basically the rm stands for remove and also the rm uh, mc temp folder so that's basically saying remove the minecraft temp folder as well so that's nicely done so that jar is ready to go it actually minecraft would work straight now actually um, you can do a test if you want to sometimes it's a good idea actually just to make sure that that installed fine there you are, so that's, that's good Right, now, um, okay, so seeing as it wants us to put this content into the Minecraft folder, we have to find the Minecraft folder. Now, if you're running Lion, uh, which is one reason why I'm using the terminal method instead of using the um, original method to go into the bin and then right-click and use archive, because Lion um, doesn't really have a working good version of archive, so the terminal actually is better. And I've found the terminal to be way more easier to use than going into the archive and right clicking on that stuff like that. So, uh, we've got to find it first. Uh, but the thing is, library isn't actually down here on uh, Mac OS line, so you have to find it. Recommendation, hold down the Alt button and then press Go, and then library is right here. And then also, watch it here, you might as well like click that, drag it into the your favorites here, so it will stay there forevermore. So, it's there when you need it. And if you're installing mods quite a lot like I am, you are going to need it. So, uh, click on application support. Minecraft, so you know, obviously scroll down to Minecraft, mine's already preset for some reason, Minecraft, and then you're obviously in the Minecraft folder, which is handy. Okay, so back onto the mod folder, it wants us to in put it, these things into the mods and resources. Okay, so, Minecraft folder here, very important. So, so, so we have a mods folder here, and if you actually use mod loader, it will actually make this folder for you, unless it's already in there, I can't really remember. And also it's created this text thing here, it's very important, so don't delete that, and also don't delete this. So, because basically mod loader is now going to recognize any file that's inside this mods folder, which is, in, which is good. So, um, so yeah, put my folder, mods, and then we're going to copy across this zip and uh, mod minions evil cfg, so copy paste that's that done and then back out again okay resources so it's going to go back a bit resources mod so we're going to right click that copy mod so there's already one here we'll just uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that and we'll replace the new one in so that is actually done so we have put mod loader and audio mod properly and mod loader mp into the uh, minecraft jar and then also we have copied across as it's told us to uh, the mods into the mod folder into the into the minecraft folder as well as the resources so now uh, we're going to get our minecraft I'm going to run it good it works I'll we'll make it big screen for you guys single player create a new world uh, we'll go on creative mode because we can check see if the actual mods installed properly okay so we'll just scroll down and then there it is master stuff if we want and then <laughs> go the minecraft minions are here we can make them do things like pick up a cow oh there you go he's picked him up brilliant there you go <laughs> So there you go, that is the mod installed. And of course, if you want to uh, refresh your Minecraft, do the exact same way we started off with, open up, options, force update, done, login, and then that will um, get rid of the mod off the jar, only the jar, mind, and uh, then you're done dusted. Now if you also make sure when you're getting rid of a mod to go back into your Minecraft folder, go into mods and just get rid of these files here because mod loader will always look for a mod in there. If it hasn't got anything there it won't have any problem. If it look, tries to find something else it just it, it gets confused on what's going on and it's just better to just uh, you know delete them out of there. 
and we'll scare it this one as well. There you go. So, there you have it. I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. Uh, quite a fairly simple mod, actually. I've had worse to install. I uh, want to install left, right, and center, and all kinds of things to put in there and everything. Um, so, yes. So, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, then please ask away. I hope, like I said, I hope this covers quite a lot of stuff because it really is that simple. Unless the file, unless the folder uh, tells you to insert into jar, it generally is just copy and paste it into the main open jar folder, uh, just like I did with mod loader and uh, mod loader MP. Unless it tells you otherwise, like it said here. Always read the folders, never assume, always read the forums, never assume that they are all the same. Until proper support actually comes from uh, Mojang to actually install mods, then this will be the method. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and have a play with the Minecraft Minions, it's amazing. If you haven't checked out the mod video yet, I've done of it, go check it out as well. And I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. So thanks for watching a how-to video, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.